yummy. Smells yummy. Howdy, 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 howdy. Oh, how's my lighting? I don't know. I've got cameras in the way. Oh, my gosh. Well, my, uh, yeah. My OBS was not letting my one camera turn on today, which was annoying. But it's back now. Delayed, but it's back now. I need to figure that out, too. Not that big of a deal. Uh, anyway. Uh... Yeah, so our arcade's still not allowed to open. Our county did not move to another level of uh, COVID whatever. So uh, I'm going to keep cleaning and keep fixing. But we can talk about, uh, first of all, howdy. Uh, let's talk about uh, what we're doing here, back where we were. As I left you the other night on Tuesday, we are getting this stuff clean. This is the ball trough. I was getting it all cleaned up. Brent was cleaning this for me. So we got it cleaned up on the inside. And this main part right here. And then this is the ball release part here. We got all that cleaned up. Uh, but before I put it all back in, I want to for my cameras. You'd think I'd have this set up, but I didn't. All right, but before I put all this stuff back in, I wanna get the rest of the ball trough area and ball lift and the shooter rod. And then we'll move on. Uh, I did get, talk about for a second anyway. I don't know where to put this. Put this on the floor, I guess. Safety first. Uh, let's go over here. Let's get this camera up here for a second. So I got a pinball uh, rotisserie and there's part of it right there. So ordered this from Marco. Uh, the other half is not on it right now. The reason for that is that it's uh, it's Chinese uh, built and yeah, it's rusty. The other part of it was rusty, brand new in the box, and it was rusty. So that part is being repainted. Uh, I'm not really sure about how it connects to everything. I'm kind of wary. We're going to modify it a little bit so it's safer for uh, play fields to be on this thing. But yeah, it's. Look, well, that's the inside of it. They didn't bother when they made this thing in China. They didn't bother to clean it off first before they uh, powder coated it or painted it or whatever. So there's like rust all on the inside of it. And rust on some of the hinges and stuff. I don't know. Not what I was expecting, but eh, it'll work. We'll make it work. All right, so what I want to do is get my temporary table out of the way. And we are in here. We're going to be doing a lot of just in this section. Everything that's right there. All that jazz. All this right here. Uh, let's see if we get this camera to be more of that angle. A little bit. If that works. You can see it. Um, I didn't do anything to this stuff yet. I think I put a little bit of alcohol on here just to play around with it, but we're going to take it completely apart. I need to get the ball lift apart, and I don't think I need Brent to do his thing. I think I could just clean all this stuff to make it shine, because I want to do all this before we put the ball trough back in. Make it shine everywhere. All right. 
does nothing but just get started anyway. How's everybody's Thursday? So what do I want to do? Get the button. We gotta clean the switches on the buttons. Like how close this is. Alright. Let's take some pictures. By the way, the good folks at uh, New Mexico Pinball are online right now. Pretty sure they're playing something awesome. I don't get to play much because somebody has to fix the machines. The machines are, the, they are dirty and they are broken. And they are very expensive. I'm also losing my butt. I need some money. All right. I think first thing is taking this off. This plate off first. And we'll just clean that part ourselves. I think I got the other pieces Brent actually put in the acid to get the rust and dirt and grime off. All right, so there's this piece right here. I'm gonna keep the screws with it for now. Find a place to keep it safe. Probably my chair over here. And I'm gonna take this off. I mean, it works really well. We got one screw, two screws, two screws holding it on. Doesn't take much. I like these uh, early ball lift things. We had one on the Mayfair that we worked on, but this is the first machine that we own that has one. Is there a nail in? Oh, there's a third screw. I see it. I see it. There we go. Some of that original color in there, I think. That's that. Um, I think we will take this entire bit off here and we'll put it on the table. But for now, we're just going to set it over here with the other one. With the screws. Only has three screws because the fourth one would get in the way. Oh, gravity. Gravity! Anyway, popping screws. Now, Stop, and this thing is held on by nails. So we're just going to be very slowly uh, bringing that off. Shoot a rod. We, uh, I don't think I got the, did I get the rubber kit for this? I don't know if I did or not. I don't think I did. I think I just got the flipper kit. Was that that piece there? I'm guessing that's you know, you know it's just a stop to keep it from uh, going up too high. Put that there, give me crack corn, and I don't care. Take that, you stupid corn! All right, nail, 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 nail. So that I want to very carefully pry off. I don't want to bend this metal too much if I can. If not, let's evaluate it. Maybe I should just do this in place. These are pretty tight. I think maybe I should just clean. Let's just call this the hot dog. 
I don't know what it's actually called, but those nails are in there pretty tight. Let's just try to clean it right where it is. Shink. Clean the hot dog up. A lot of light coming off of that part. That's just light right here. All right. do now is get it cleaned up cleaned up do a little bit of windex right here because i don't think that's gonna hurt mm. what a lovely smell you've discovered Windex and old dirt. It's kind of greasy. I'll do a little bit with the alcohol here too. Whew. Black black. Black 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 black. Black 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 black. Cleaning our hot dogs. Not like that. Not like that. Let's find where I put the alcohol. <laughs> oh man, we spent so much money on this stuff. I need to get some of it back. I really wish the arcade could open. I really wish we could open. But our state likes to be locked down. We're supposed to be like leading the way in vaccinations and stuff, so I'm hoping this doesn't last much longer. I am just going to keep cleaning on this area until my towel comes back clean. And it's not coming back clean yet. So now, oh, that was the screw. If you're just getting started with pinball repair, now would not be a good time to uh, to get started. Give it a couple days because there's no pin side right now, and pin side is what helped me out a lot. What is up here? I don't think that's coming off. I think that just might be wear. Boy, you're spending a lot of time trying to clean that hot dog. Well, hot dogs need to be cleaned. I think that's good. All right, let me throw up. <laughs> let me throw up. Let me throw my back box thing on here. over here all right now this, this is the only piece that has got parts so I'm just gonna take that I'm gonna take that part apart for oh my flathead did I leave it in here I did I did e clip take that off okay take this off oh there's a spring right there
So I've got to take the spring off first, right? It's wrapped around. Well, maybe I can do it this way first. Nope, I need to take the spring off. All right, so we're gonna push this rubber grommet out, if we can. Don't wanna break it. If I do, I'm gonna to have to figure out another thing. Spring. Huh. This thing is really dirty, by the way, so we definitely have to take it all the way apart. Just means, though, that I need to get this rubber grommet out first. Uh, I think I'm going to use a screwdriver. I have, if this grommet tears, I will figure out another way to do this. Hi, everybody who's venturing in to watch me for a minute. We are cleaning the ball lift of this 1961 pinball. There we go. Just gonna pop that out. Feel free to talk and chime in if you want to, or just say hi. There we go. Yeah, I got it out without breaking anything. So we'll slide that up, and then let's slide this whole thing off. There we go. Now the pieces are now the pieces are coming apart, which means the spring should come out of here. Where is it connected? Okay, it goes through the back. Gotcha. I'm understanding how this works now. Hopefully, it doesn't spring like crazy when I take it completely out. There we go. Yay! No, that's not dirty at all. We're we're good. Why would we have to clean anything? That's perfectly usable. I'm going to guarantee that this was never done. Why? Oh, it's like there's lubrication on here. Well, I guess it could be. It's, it's metal to metal. So I guess there could be a little bit. But we are not going to do that. We're going to clean all that off. Mainly off my fingers. Spray away is great for cleaning off your fingers. Why don't you just wear gloves? Because... You don't get to feel the game if you're wearing gloves. You gotta put your hands in it. Get your hands dirty. The downside is they're dirty and you're trying to clean stuff. All right. Well, you know, nothing is warped on here, so all this stuff is good. We're going to put a little bit of alcohol. A little bit of alcohol. Alcohol is always our friend. In pinball, anyway. Good old 91%. Close that. Get some more papier towels. Towels of papier. It's exciting, no? Oh, look at this. Get that on there. Oh, you, oh, don't drop that. You make loud noise. Cling and cling. Uh, I guess I could make Brent put this through his little treatment, but I don't think we will. I think I can just... Where is a little bit of sandpaper? I think that'll help. Let me see. I got paper back here. Air conditioning. So excited this place has not had air conditioning for a while. But luckily we got it working. There we go. Notifications. Everybody getting in notifications. Alright, so yeah, if it's a part that Brent can clean, I'll let him clean it, but he also, he's working right now, so we're just going to skip that and just... A little bit of sandpaper. Sandpaper, clean it up too.
getting it shinier. No big deal. Just a little bit more. A little bit better than it was. That's all I want to get. The big important part is the pivot to get cleaned up or the hinge part because that's the part that needs to be free flowing and because it is metal to metal maybe I will do a little bit of the dry lube on there like kind of get hit it hit it one time with the dry lube where is it at there it is good old dry lube got that this guy he has seen a lot of plunges Looks like you could hurt somebody with it, but hey, it's a little hammer. Ooh, yeah, we got some uh, denting. That's pretty good. I mean, that over time, that's this is just uh, that denting on the end. That's you know, sixty years of lifting the ball just over time, and it's not like it's a the, it does not, it's not like the ball hits it, like smacks into it or anything. It's just over time. It's just gotten that way. But there ain't nothing we can do about it. Ain't nothing we need to do about it. it still works. It's got a Williams, slight Williams logo on it. Take your time, no need to hurry. Ugh. Thought I heard somebody, but I didn't. Maybe I did. This would suck if that was one of those videos. Somebody just sneaks up behind me, and then somebody's screaming in chat, they're right behind you, and then I don't see it. And then it's over. All over. All right, that's. I mean, we're not talking brand new. We're just talking clean. You stay over there. You stay over there. This spring, I think I just want to dunk it in the oil, the alcohol. Put a little bit more on there. One last shot for alcohol. Drip, drip, drip. Fill that up a little bit. This is a very light spring, so I'm going to get in, in the grooves, as they say. That alcohol, get this washer cleaned off. Wash the washer. Washing washers. I don't know if it's a tension washer or what. Maybe it is because it's got a bend to it. No matter. Okay, there's that. This guy probably shouldn't have gotten alcohol on him because he's the rubber piece, but that's okay. Cleaned up, cleaned up, cleaned up. Get the spring cleaned up. Spring cleaning. It's literally spring cleaning. Literally. Literally spring cleaning. And there's a lot of dirt on that spring. All that stuff, if, I mean, you want to get off as much as you can because all that over time will just translate into getting on other parts. As in, I'm pretty sure that this dirt on the spring came from other parts. Still good shape though. This spring is not rusty or anything like that. Nice. Where am I at? Where am I at? Look at that. 
that's a nice clean spring. It's pretty good. I like that. I think that's all the parts. All right, now. Um, what did I say? I was gonna dry lube. Just a little shot of dry lube on this post over here. Oops, missed it. Here we go. Now, which way did it go? Let me check my photo real quick. I don't want to put it on backwards because that happens. It goes flat side in. So if that is the top, it's like that. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now, before we do that, take that off. We have to get this spring back in here means the end of it get fed back through this hole and I don't want to seem like I've been doing this for years and I know what I'm doing but no this is the first time I've ever taken one of these apart but it's gonna be nice to know for the future in case I got another one I did not do it on the Mayfair because well he didn't pay he didn't pay enough to have me do that all right, slide that back over. Get this part of the spring. Wait, 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 washer, washer, washer first. Gotcha, I'm there, I'm listening. We got it, we're not, we're not forgetting parts. Now, that over there. And I gotta lift it up a little bit. So it'll lay flat, give me the spring. Bring back over that. Come on. What is it getting caught on? Just space. There we go. Like that. Um, we got our rubber grommet. Pop that back in. I guess uh, somehow. stick it back through the way I took it out, right? Like with the screwdriver on it. Yeah, because that needs some that needs a bit of pressure. Come here, Gromit. Gromit. Well, just so this doesn't fall off, let's put that E spring back on there. Or E clip. There. That's on there. Now, let's see if we can get this bad boy on without killing myself or breaking myself or anything like that. Stabbing myself with a screwdriver is is not uh, key either. It is a tight fit, I guess, as well as it should be. Arrgh. Come on, buddy. Feed up. Feed through. There you go. That's it. That's what you want. All right. Oh. Turn it a little bit because you're not all the way in, I don't think. Ooh, that sounded better. I don't think it's in all the way now. Also, friction is super light, not bad at all, got some uh, shiny shiny, no dirty dirt, nice, leave that over there for a second, move on to this little piece.
just the stop. It's not too bad. Keep all the screws together. Okay, now this part. And also, you've got these cool little em engraved, embossed, or whatever W's for Williams. It's pretty awesome. But in turn, this uh, actual piece itself is not too bad. Do a little bit of sanding on that side. Okay. Now, I think. I can take, put. I think I can put this back in, and take the ball lift, the actual shooter rod of the ball lift out. All right, these screws go with this one. I'm going, I'm going in reverse here, so I'm going to put these back on. Table. And this guy with the three screws back over here. And then this guy with three screws back over here. Okay, don't fall off. All right, take my alcohol off the table. Get it done now. back in. Get in there and kind of wipe that off a little. Wipe the wall. Alright. Um, yeah, this thing is in need of some love. Probably not so bad when the actual uh, thing is on there. So let's take that off first. Then we'll put everything back together and then we'll take the shooter rod off. That, I think, is my plan. All right. So I'm going to start with this E clip. On the back, there's an E clip. guy all right so this is going to need to get some Brent love done so we'll get him to do that and I will just soak these guys I would assume he's gonna be over here in just a second he always randomly gets over here Just be service. Maybe I can just get it off with my hand here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to need Brent or not. Where is piece of uh, sandpaper that we've been using? Do do sand sandy paper that you have to my heart. Just cleaning Yeah. 
dumb. Get it done. There we go. Nice. I'm just going to call that good. We don't need Brent to come over here and do that. I think that looks okay. It's not rusty anymore. Dip it into Alki. There for a second. I do need to uh, get some Q-tips here. And another cup of alcohol. Going in fun time now, telling me what to do. Oh, so I'm cleaning out the shaft part. So yeah, that is, oh my gosh, I don't know where the cameras are. There it is, dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Take it off. I just need to clean it. The ball lift will appreciate this in the end. Ooh. I think I want to twist a paper towel in there too. Get a little bit of tighter, tighter push on it. Yeah, because it's still kind of extra dirty. Extraordinarily dirty. Whew. That's part of the reason I haven't gone as crazy gangbusters with getting this all done and cleaned as quickly as some of the other machines is because I'm getting too far ahead for Brent. He can't get his stuff done because he doesn't have the time to do all the things that I'm doing. So I kind of have to slow down, which is fine. I need some uh, personal time. I've actually found I have an injury from working too much. I have fatigued myself over the last year from doing too much work. So I have to uh, take it easy sometimes. I think we got it. I think I got it. Go again. I'll do a little bit more. Yeah. All right. So now the spring. Spring is sprung. Send the spring. I wish there was a, uh, I, don't, I don't know, maybe it might be missing it. Maybe it is a thing, excuse me, that when you release it, it doesn't make so much of a noise. That spring off pretty good. That's pretty good. Actually, a lot of that stuff is just coming right off. That's pretty good. Now, this part. 
Nice. Nice. Super, super nice. I like that a lot of that dirt is just coming right off. That's supposed to turn or not, but it's turning. Turn it back there. Washer. All right, I think I can put this thing back together now. This washer only goes so far, right? Yeah. Slide this in here. And then washer. And the spring. And the end piece, and then the E, E clip. I always want to say eclipse, but I guess that would just be plural in this this uh, format. Oh, come on, I might need some uh, needle nose, slight little needles. What does Needle know? Needle knows a lot. There we go. I like that. Springy, springy. Bouncy, bouncy. All right, now let's put all that jazz back together. So, uh, reversed. Reversed was this. This piece was first, or last, anyway. Driver tightens that piece in. And this one. I also have it's on the pinball dolly um, elevated, so that's why I get a little bit of movement here when I'm doing this stuff. It's not that my legs are loose. Well, my actual legs may be loose, but not the pinball legs. All right, before I move on, I want to clean this switch real quick. Flip the switch. Flip the switch. Which switch? Which switch is the flipper switch? that good all right so that's that piece and now we do the big piece do this backwards? Am I doing this backwards? What am I doing backwards? Oh, that's what I did backwards. Got it. I just had it the wrong one. The wrong way. That's okay. It was only for a little time. Tried to grab a screw out of my fingers. There we go. Get in here. There we go. Back in place. Let's get this one in for a second so we're not falling everywhere. 
now we get the other two in. Starting times. Dude. Awkward much? There we go. Put this one in. Adjust the camera while you're screwing in stuff. That's how you multitask. Right there. And the last one was under here. and separates. Which way does this go? I think it only goes one way. So the ball, yeah, because the ball trough is, this is part of the support for the ball trough too. Come on. There we go. Put these in for a second. Oh, and this little piece adds a little bit of support to that, I guess. Now we're noticing how it all comes how it all comes together. I love it when a ball lift comes together. That. There we go. There we go. It's tight. Plenty of room there. All right, so I think that is, that's the mechanism. That part is uh, mechanized. So let's just do the shooter rod real quick. This is a, should be very self-explanatory. I don't have, yeah, I do not have a new rubber kit for this. I do have extra springs, but I don't think I need springs. I think these are good. Come on. Boy, that rubber tip is, uh, it's on there. Here it comes. Come on. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Be your friend. Oh, bink. Thunk. All right. Now, our good old friend, the E clip. Or is this a C clip? Wait. Oh yeah, this is a big one. I might have to twist at the top here. See if I can get it to come off. Ooh, maybe not. What is this? What is this version? This is like going all the way around it. sure that this is actually what's supposed to be on here. I think it's supposed to have an e-clip and maybe at some point somebody did this like cut washer thing. I don't know. I could be wrong. But if everything else is an e-clip, why isn't this? Bro. Not fun. I need better, better way to grip. Where's my other one? Air condition is conditioning my air. Guess I don't. It 
does it say? It almost goes all the way around it. Might need a bigger screwdriver. Something to pry this up. Something to get a grip on. For me to grip on. It's not going to be that guy. This is a little weird. Totally expecting an e-clip. Don't stab yourself, please. Don't stab yourself. I will get it. If I have to, I have a box of e-clips we can put instead of this thing hopefully if one of them fits do not like this I do not not meant to be. I doubt it. I got caught on this part. This part is what took like two hours to do. Is this? I don't understand. I'm trying to hold it with one side and pry it off with the other. my stronger uh, it's a lot looser now <laughs> my stronger um, needle nose maybe I just use maybe I just use this guy Is that's no gonna have to find something else all right take the spring off slide this out the back maybe uh, why not oh I think it just filled up this one's still good shooter rods not too bad just dirty Okay. Hopefully I have an E-clip that fits. Or a C-clip. I got a C-clips too. Clean my shooter rod. Nice and clean. It's all right. Right there now. I'm gonna get in here and clean this guy. I'm gonna start with. No. Let's do it this way. I'll do it with the Q-tips too. Yep. Q-tips. Why is it so expensive to fix an electromechanical? Uh, I don't 
time. Lots and lots of time. Time. bunch of q-tips probably should have used four but I only used three. Oh my gosh yeah so dirty let's use four this time get a tight fix on there the squeaky sound. Unfortunately, it's still really, really, really dirty. We're going to go through a lot of the, the uh, Q-tips today. Gonna dip my Q-tip on. Exciting. Exciting. Very exciting. Nice. I mean, we're getting a lot, a lot of alcohol in there, but it is still dirty. I'm hoping this last batch here will clean that through. Fingers are starting to get a little dry. Hmm, wonder why. I also got to clean this one too, right? Yeah. Yeah, and OXO is sticky too. And I gotta clean it before Brent gets anywhere near him because he likes to freaking spit on him. Wish he wouldn't do that. There we go. Way, way cleaner than it was. Out of that roll this real quick while I'm standing here thinking about it. Just kind of rub the uh, OXO on. This is not a complete clean because I didn't I need to get inside it. But it'll help for a little bit. There we go. All right. I think that's good. Springs. Spring a little dirty. Uh, probably swipe this off a little bit. Need some more paper towels. Ooh, I'm out of the blue ones. Oh, they're blue ones at the back, but I uh, can't get to them. Nothing like the blue ones in the back. At least the white one, I'm able to tell how dirty it is. Theory. That one's not too bad. We're just gonna slide that bad boy back in here. Kind of wipe off the big spring and see if that's any dirtier. This one is dirty. I need to really get after it. This one was a lot dirtier than the outside spring. Just based off of it gets used more, obviously, and it's, you know, inside gets all that heat and dirt. We gotta change all these lights out to uh, 
LED, but we're going to keep it traditional. I know that traditional and LED don't go together, but we're going to try to keep with a warm white look. But we are doing LEDs. Do not care for incandescence. We have the technology. We are changing them. Wait, wait, look at that spring. Look at that spring. That's dirt getting in your game. The whole bag of new springs could do that too, but this spring is in good condition. It's just a little bit dirty. Of course, not anymore. Got a lot of that dirt off. Remember, we are doing a little spring cleaning. Spring, you know, spring cleaning. Oh yeah, I gotta find a clip, because we broke that clip. Trying to get this stupid clip off. All right, spring, sitting here for a second. And I got a box of Eclipse. Let me get them over here. Hopefully one of these will fit. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, I don't know. I think that one might be a little too small. Oh, do I have a medium? Is there a level between too small and too big? I hope so. Oh, I think this one will fit. Yes. This one will work. Let me just get my... Much better. Much better than whatever garbage was on there. Nice and smooth. Yeah, I'm going to put this rubber back on because, like I said, I don't have rubbers yet. So that E clip will not come off. Nice and tight. Nice and smooth. Cool, cool. So now we're ready to try to rebuild this trough. Got to reassemble it first, and then we'll put it back in here. So that means I get my uh, table back out. I also have photographs to go through. Uh, okay, so that we need that piece. This piece, we need this tub of stuff that has the coil in it, and the switches, and the one other piece, the, uh, the arm, there it is. All right, so, put this coil back together. Oh, I need it. Oh, it's right here. There we go. This thing. Yeah, definitely going to need the photos. I know where this goes. We were able to uh, keep the uh, stickers on here, so that's good. I told Brent I want the stickers. Oh, this is also very dirty. Let's clean that first. Get that ball trough on. I don't know about the rest of you, but whoever's working out there on pinball machines, if you do it like I do it, I just worked a normal eight hour shift, or not a nine hour shift, at my normal job and then right in here to do this. Because you've got to do the one that makes the money first. I'm not quite sure what this thing does other than allow the balls maybe not to fall back out. Maybe? This 
Well, I'm guessing this is like a little spring thing at the entrance for the balls. Screwdriver. Now, I need to put the uh, plunger back together. Screws are there. That's there. Oh, uh, yeah, we got these springs that need to go on. Whew, boy, did we think this through? I'm not sure. That spring, those guys, that. That these I don't know why there was two different sizes in the uh, I think it was these two that were in the back of the uh, coil stop I wish I didn't clean that either ooh coil stop you are dirty my friend what you been thinking about Dirty coil stop. Coil stop. Coil stop. All right. That. I need my camera. Garbage photo, garbage photo, there we go. All right, so we're starting with the coil because that's where we stopped. So that is like this, clean that off. The spring is too. This piece. I gotta see how this spring goes back on this guy right here. All right, so. Oh, okay. this there this part I think I I can put a little bit of dry lube because it's metal to metal a little bit of metal a little bit of dry lube okay right there Figuring it out. Pinball. All right. I got it. I got it. I got it. That goes there. This spring goes on there. On there. And on there. Figuring it out, figuring it out. This 
face right there. Mm -hmm. This is why you take pictures of everything, absolutely everything. Man, I would have not, I mean I would have, but it would not be easy to figure out how this all went back together. screws are closed up. I think I am. There we go. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe these aren't the right screws for the coil stop. see it or not they have to be the right screws I just gotta get them in wrench that one was a different size I think I think to remember that I think to remember there was one that was a smaller one It's easy to put back together. Come on. Mr. Whistle. I didn't design it. I know. I know. Other I know. I know. It's Chinese. Nothing against China, but the manufacturing skills are. Mm. Left to be desired. There we go. Oh my gosh. Ugh. All right, jeez Louise. Got it. This is just, all this is is the ball release. Which I guess just goes up under through here. And like that. That's what's going on with these screws. It's okay. I figure it out. I wonder if I have to. No, I don't. But maybe I have to put that other piece in first. I don't. Why don't you just drop it? Yeah, that sounds good. We'll just drop it. Um, ow. I have an itch. Got a little bit of an itch. Am 
Wait a minute. That's why that one was longer. Okay. I got these reversed. I'm, now I remember because that side had a nut on it. I'm going to have to reverse them. No big deal. I understand it now. there that goes up here those go on there okay Let me get these guys back in I took pictures of that too it's facing this way guy in the back All right I know it skips so one two skip three. that close? Maybe it skips too. Ah, come on. There we go. Nope. These are the switches, which I'm determining if you wanted a three ball game, you'd have to move all of these this determines what ball it's on. There we go. That, that, that. We did it. Nice. Okay. And then they'll sit up when they're actually in here, right? Ooh, I may have done this backwards. Nah, nah, nah. It'll go in. There we go. Ha 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 ha. There it is. Booyah. That's the majority of our ball dropped. All right. Ow, ow, ow. So here's the thing. Uh, my back is really starting to kill me right now. So I think I'm going to take a break. All right. And come back tomorrow and finish the rest of that. Doesn't matter anyway. It's just doing it for me. Maybe somebody will watch this later on YouTube. But, uh, yeah. That's good. Hour and 20 minutes. I'll be back tomorrow. Finish this off. I need to give my back a break. I need to sit down for some point. But, uh, yeah. That's it. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys later.